Hey, what's up? Amelia here. Let's see what's making news. Does this symbol look familiar? You might have seen it on food packaging at the supermarket, but a new report says we should be seeing it a lot more. Here's Josh. This is the Health Star rating system. It's meant to help us figure out which foods on our shelves are healthier than others by rating them from half a star to five stars. Basically, the more protein, fiber, fruit, and veggie content the product has, the higher the number. But the more total energy, saturated fats, sugar, and salt content, well, then it's not so flattering. But the Health Star rating system isn't mandatory, and new research shows the number of brands chucking it on their products has decreased over the past four years. It found that products with a higher rating, like milk-based protein drinks, were more likely to proudly display their label. Excuse me, what Health Star rating does this have? Four stars. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> while lower scoring products like jams, cheese and ice creams... And what about this? Hello? Excuse me? ...were a bit Hello? more hesitant. While some say it's not a big deal because the rating isn't actually the best way to know if something is healthy or not, some health experts think it should be made compulsory so we can make more informed choices at the checkout and improve the health of Aussies. Bushfires are continuing to burn across large parts of southern Queensland and northern New South Wales. More than a dozen emergency level blazes burned across the two states yesterday, but a cool change is helping firefighters get on top of them, with most now downgraded to a watch and act level. More than 60 Victorian firefighters headed to Queensland today to help out crews on the ground who have been working tirelessly since the fires broke out. These people are absolute heroes to put their lives on the line to protect their communities um, and we thank them every single day for the work that they do. Now to sport and a big AFLW star has announced her retirement. Here's Justina. Yep, superstar Erin Phillips will be playing her last AFLW game this weekend after announcing her retirement after eight seasons. The Port Adelaide player has been hailed as one of Australia's greatest athletes, with a total of 66 games, three premierships when she played for the Crows, three All-Australian selections, and two club and AFLW Best and Fairest awards. I've been so lucky, I really have, and played with some fantastic teams, and to be able to experience those moments, um, yeah, it's just amazing. Over to Netty, the Diamonds have swept the South Africa series after a stellar 77-50 win over the Proteas in the third and final game of the tournament. Wing attack Liz Watson was a standout, racking up 44 feeds and 31 goal assists. All eyes were on football's Night of Nights yesterday for the Ballon d'Or Awards. It's one of the most prestigious sporting awards out there. Argentinian captain and legend of the game Lionel Messi won the men's award for a record extending eighth time, while Matilda's captain Sam Kerr just missed out for the women, coming second to Spain's Aitana Bonmati. Speaking of Kerr, you can see her in action tonight when the Tillies take on Chinese Taipei in their third Paris Olympic qualifying game. What's better than one person? Lots of people, because it's always nice to have company. I'm good. Yeah. Mm, yeah. When you're finally getting out into the big wide world, it's nice to have some friends with you. All 499 of them. Yep, hundreds of baby sea turtles were released into the Pacific Ocean in North Colombia as part of a conservation program. Although it wasn't the fastest process, they all got there eventually. <laughs> Now, just because the White House isn't on a regular neighbourhood street doesn't mean its famous occupants should miss out on all the trick-or-treating fun. Plenty of kids stop by to grab some treats from the US President and First Lady. And luckily, it looks like no one had to resort to a trick. Wouldn't have gone down well with White House security, I imagine. <laughs> and when you graduate, there's nothing like celebrating with your mates, especially when your mates are also Santa Claus wannabes. <laughs> Yep, around 50 Father Christmases graduated from Rio de Janeiro's Santa School and celebrated with their brand new diplomas and by doing other generally jolly shenanigans. Well, that's it from me, uh, us, but we'll be back with more tomorrow. Bye!